Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Apache Spark SQL, which brings you much closer to an SQL style query, similar to using a relational database like Oracle, MySQL and other stuff, right? So, uh, so far what we have seen in my previous two videos, uh, I have shown you that how we can make use of data frame API queries to handle structured data. But if you want to use a, a SQL especially, uh, if you already have a good command on SQL and you want to query, you want to handle your structured data using SQL query rather than the data frame API, still you can able to do it using Apache Spark. So let's see how we can do it, right? First of all, you can see I have already made a project in the uh, Eclipse Scala, this Scala IDE for Eclipse. And in this case, the very first step is the same that we have uh, initialized the Spark session. Afterwards, we have made use of traditional syntax like uh, spark or read dot format CSV file. Like I'm loading a CSV file which I have used in my previous two videos as well, to, uh, which is the same file uh, question 10k.csv. I'm just creating a data frame here. It means till this step, everything is same. Data frame creation has been done here. Afterwards, what to do now? First step is like if you want to use Spark SQL, you have to first uh, create a temporary view or temporary table. Okay, this is the first step that we have to carry out. How we can do it? You can see like the, the, the DF is my data frame. On DF, we have to call a method create or replace temp view. Okay, and in, you need to give some name here. Okay, this will be this will be serving as your table name, which you will be querying further. So I'm, I've given it the name as my table. Okay. Afterwards, what I have seen, what I have done here is like I have um, make use of a query called catalog dot list tables. Like I want to check out whether this table is now been created or not, right? So let's run the query here and let's see that whether my table, the table name is my table, is been visible under the catalog of uh, Spark or not, right? Let's check it out. So I'm running it as Scala application. So very first step, the same step, the data frame creation. Afterwards, I have just made use of a temporary view. This is the like mandatory step if you want to carry out your SQL queries. Afterwards, using the uh, spark.catalog.list tables, I'm just listing the tables. In that list, my table should be available over there. Let's check it out. You can see now the data frame has been created and I've got the acknowledgement that my table is been reflecting in the catalog, right? It's a good sign. It means my first query is successful now. All right. Afterwards, now how to make use of Spark SQL? If you have to use the Spark SQL, you need to use a prefix Spark dot SQL. This is the like mandatory thing for running any of the SQL query. So today, all the queries which I'll be running it today, it will be having a same prefix Spark dot SQL. So first of all, I'm just uh, making use of very basic SQL command show tables. Okay, the show tables is equivalent of the uh, Spark catalog. So let's let's do it. I'm now uh, putting the comment on it and I'll be just running this spark.sql uh, show tables.show. Okay, uh, let's do it. I uh, have to run this again, run as Scala application. I have commented my previous command spark.catalog list tables because now this spark.sql show tables, it's equivalent of that. Okay, it will be printing the table. So let's see if the my table is available over there with the show tables or not. And you can see now that my table is available as the output. It means my spark.sql prefix is working very fine. All right, so spark, what is spark here? Which I've already have, uh, you can see at the very beginning, the spark is nothing but a spark session. So indirectly, I'm using a spark session here. Spark session.sql, sql, the show tables, okay? So I'm using spark.sql show tables.show. So very first query coming up is now uh, nothing but the uh, select query. Okay, so uh, we know that the uh, the when when we are when we start learning SQL, the very first query that we encounter is select query. So here I'm selecting the columns because I'm having only two columns available in this table. So I'm selecting uh, ID comma tag from my table limit ten means I want to print the ten first ten rows of the table by incorporating both the columns ID and tag. Although instead of ID and tag, I can, I can also make use of asterisk as well. It's up to you. Let's do it now. Okay, so I'm just running the query spark dot SQL select id comma tag from my table limit tell dot show please remember that the query should be enclosed in double quotes every time okay this is very much important otherwise you will get the error so i'm running it as scala application and let's see if it's working or not so i'm just running a very basic query of select i've also have put a comment as well it's a basic select query and in which i'm selecting the uh, both the columns but only the 10 rows will be printed 
all right you can see that we got answer id and tag and only 10 rows got printed okay moving further the very next query is the where clause in the data frame api the where clause was equivalent of filter so it is a basic a filter query but now we are running it in a sql style okay so select star from my table where tag equal to php so i want to print the uh, all the rows where the tags are phps right let's do it so i'm running it as scala application again the spark.sql is a prefix and the the query is enclosed in double quotes and it is equivalent of data frame api's filter query in which the, the all the tags which is having php those rows got printed you can see only three rows have the php tags and it is got printed so this is nothing but a where clause moving further next is count i want to make use of count i want to count that how many uh, rows are having tags equal to php although it's pretty much clear from previous query that only three tags are available let's see let, uh, how we can uh, print the count because in the sql we make use of aggregate operator or function called count so select count asterisk from my table where tag equal to php dot show show should be there as a suffix of all the queries okay as spark.sql as a prefix and show as a suffix so i'm running it here for you so that we can get the answer three in this case all right let me save it and let's now run it as scala application okay this is the next query after discussing select and where next query is count in which we're just counting the number of rows where the tags is equal to php and you can see one more thing that the php because of the condition it should be enclosed in single quotes this is very much important so these little things count okay so we got answer three as expected moving further the very basic query coming up next is nothing but the like query that we use in the uh, regular sql so like query always come into play when we have to do some pattern matching so i want to print all the uh, tags all the query all the rows where the tag is starting with c c percentage meaning is the opening alphabet is c and the remaining it can be anything it can be c hash c c plus plus okay maybe uh, something css so all things will be printed here okay this is a like operator that we have in a basic sql as well so let's now uh, uh, run it as scala application and let's see if it's working or not so this is nothing but the uh, basic like operator uh, that we regularly use in the uh, SQL for pattern matching. So here uh, either we can use a percentage as a wildcard character or we can also make use of underscore as well. Percentage meaning is more than one character matching and underscore meaning is single character matching. You can see all the tags opening with C got printed in this query, right? This is the basic like operator. Moving further, next one is in operator. In operator come into play when we have to uh, 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 like avoid the use of multiple ors. So this query says that I want to print all the data where id is equivalent of 4 or 6 or 11 or 25. So I, we can replace those three ors with a single in. So in is a uh, multi row matching. Uh, it's very much important for the SQL. So let's see if it's working or not. So I'm again repeating the in operator or in clause nothing but the is uh, we use it so that we can avoid the uh, excessive use of ORs, okay, OR operators. So here uh, it will be printing all the data where ID is either 4 or 6 or 11 or 25. Let's see. You can see we got answer. We have got the answer uh, 4, 6, 11, all right, because we are just printing 10 because show 10, it was only have printed the 10 rows where it is matching with either 4 or 6 or 11 or 25. This is called as a in operator. So I can also write the same query with the three ors, four or six or 11 or 25, which is not the optimal way. So we make use of in operator. Next one is I want to make use of group by. Group by again is very commonly used uh, operator uh, clause in the case of SQL when we have to club all the similar things together. I want to uh, print what? I want to print all the tags and its corresponding count, right? Uh, so for, for that I'm using a group by so select tag comma count asterisk as total count which is the alias from my table group by tag so it will be printing the tag and its corresponding count okay and we are doing it with the help of group by uh, again group by is a very basically uh, basic uh, clause and it always be having the presence of one aggregate function it can be count avg max min or anything right so it should be having at least one corresponding aggregate function so let's see if it's working or not yes it's working it's showing the tag and total count the total count is the alias 
and it is printing the tag and its corresponding count so because of the fact we are printing only 10 rows so only 10 results got displayed here next one is having having will be used alongside uh, group by just to define the condition so in this case i want to print only those rows where the count is more than 2 because here we have uh, go, uh, we are getting the answers as 1 2 1 9 right i only want to print those tags whose count is more than 2 it's nothing but the extension of previous query in which we have included included the having clause okay so having clause always be used alongside group by just to define the condition okay so in this case it, this is just a extension of previous query in which we are adding the another condition where the count is more than 2 let's do it and let's see if we are getting the result or not is another uh, very commonly used operation having it should be used alongside the group by okay just to define the condition so let's see if it's working or not now uh, we should be getting result in which the total count must be more than 2 you can see only the results which is more than 2 got printed here which is uh, we have accomplished with the help of having next one is it is nothing but the uh, order by order by is very basic clause uh, in the sql just for the uh, just for the sorting data so i want to sort data it's nothing but the same query as of previous query till here i've just added the as a suffix order by total count asc asc is an optional keyword for ascending order i want to print this same thing in a ascending order means the nine should come at bottom and three should come at very top so if you don't use asc is okay uh, because asc is not the optional uh, it's not a mandatory keyword although for printing in a descending order des is a mandatory keyword but asc is an optional keyword so this is the just extension of previous query in which we have just added the sorting data with the help of order by let's run it and so that we can get the result in a sorting order in which the three will come at top and nine will come at bottom so let's do it so order by is a nothing uh, but a very basic uh, clause in the case of sql for sorting data which accept asc or desc as a uh, parameters for printing in ascending or descending order let's see if it's working or not uh, i should be getting result yeah three is coming at very top and nine is coming at very bottom as expected and it's done last query for today is is nothing but the basic aggregate functions that you can also use some basic aggregate functions like uh, like we have max min sum avg i'm just printing it in one shot in one query let's do it so that we can get to know the maximum id min id uh, sum of id and average id from the id column of the uh, this my table so again i've already have told you that this is uh, because you can execute any of the query of sql but the only one thing you have to remember you have to first register your uh, data frame as the uh, temporary view afterwards you have to use a prefix spark.sql and then you are ready to go you can run any of the query of your sql here right you can see that we got answer max 9 min 1 sum is this one average is 35 right so i hope uh, you must have understood uh, from this lot short little video how we can make use of spark sql to uh, uh, run the sql like queries in apache spark right so if you have any question please do comment on my video i'll be happy to answer you right thanks for watching guys see you next video